Prunus spinosa, blackthorn, the hedge that came with the farm, which we scorned for its thorns and said we would rip out. But the mother of the wood moved in long before us, creating a guard around the tiny oak saplings. So, safe from the careless nibblings of rabbits and from being roughed up by the horns of deer, protected in the heart of the hedge, they grew up tall and started to shade her out. But she has moved on, finding other babes of the wood to tend, and she ushers her nursery of particular plants into meadows and forgotten edges of fields, wherever she can find a foothold. Her underground feelers pop up into the light, the periscope of a vast under-earth submarine, an advancing army of nature reclaiming the land. Surprisingly, blackthorn flowers at the ends of its sharp thorns, turning them soft and gentle and safe. Now I welcome their beautiful almond fragrance, the first blossoms of spring, and treat them with deep respect for their healing magic. Now they know us well and give us hope to improve digestion, treat breathing disorders, dental caries, detoxify the body, ease kidney and bladder problems, relieve fatigue and general exhaustion, cardiac disorders, reduce inflammation of the mouth and pharynx, sore throat, bad breath, an excellent beauty remedy. People are like trees. They need to be handled gently because there may be thorns or stings in store, but with care and patience, the blossoms come, the shade giving leaves and the nourishing fruit. Our friends are our ecosystem, where we richly grow together. Under the hedge of blackthorn, the bramble laces her together with hawthorn and rose, and they all bow safely under the ash and the apple. Thank you. 